Hey there folks, I am back with another LCPGL match. So looking at his team, this is obviously a slightly more competent player. I think his rating was actually pretty high. Um, I see that Jan Man, that Sneasel, and I know he means business also. I see that Remoraid and I Quake and Fear. Um, so based on his team, I definitely want to bring Sneasel. Uh, Murkrow definitely will be a very useful Pokemon in this battle. And I think Magnemite would be my best choice for the last slot. I don't think, you know, I need Sticky Web. Obviously, I'm going to leave Enki at home. And I'm not really seeing Tangela being super good against any of his Pokemon, um, except for maybe, actually, against Metatite and uh, Remory, that would have been fine. But uh, anyway, he decides to lead off with his Pharaoh Seed. I lead off with Murkrow. I'm okay with this. I'm going to go ahead and sub, thinking that he's probably just going to set up Rocks first turn. I'm hoping this isn't a um, Rocks plus Spike set. I don't actually know. I have to look up whether Pharaoh Seed also gets Spikes. But anyway, um going to go ahead and go for the drill pack, see how much damage it does. Uh, that looks like a 3-4 to four hit KO, uh, so this is going to take a while, and I am kind of wishing I'd led with, well, I, I, I just had no choice. I really wish I had fire on this team. So, um, he Iron Head's showing me he doesn't have the Jar Ball, which is great, because it means that I can T-Wave him. Um, I'm, uh, and he tries to T-Wave me, which is great. I go ahead and T-Wave him and succeed in paralyzing this guy. And so now, between my Bright Powder and the Paralysis, I'm thinking I should probably be able to stall this guy out. And yes, I am stalling in an LCPGL match. It's kind of funny. So I'm going to go ahead and Roost. i uh, going to get back to uh, actually full health, because interestingly, Roost rounds up. Um, if he gets fully paralyzed here, I think that's just absolutely great. going to go for a Drill Pack, and it's going to... Uh, it looks like one more hit should take him out. And, um, yeah, and so here's where I start doing some questionable plays. Um, so he goes ahead and iron heads me, and it's going to break my sub. I'm thinking, okay, well, really, I really want to be behind a sub for, um, I'm, I'd be very surprised if it didn't bring his Sneasel, and I really want to be behind a sub for Sneasel. Um, and so I decide I'm just going to keep subbing and it just until, you know, he gets paralyzed, and then I'll take him out. So, unfortunately, he's not getting fully paralyzed, he's not missing. And here's another one, and it's going to get me down. You know, after the sub, I'm going to be down pretty low. And to the point where, without my health down this low, I'm not going to really feel comfortable. Um, I'm not going to feel comfortable going to the drill pack because of Iron Barbs. So he goes ahead and uh, Iron Heads me again, and it's going to break my sub again. I can make one more sub, uh, but that'll take me down to 1 HP. I have to do it. I just have to. And I got to really, really hope that he gets fully paralyzed here, and he does. So, well, that's good, and now I'm going to be able to get up to half HP with a Roost, um, and, uh, yeah, so, gonna go ahead and Roost here, get up to half, um, and here he uses Bullets, he shows me that Bullets is, is his other move, and I'd forgotten, um, that I had Roosted, so I was, I was thinking this was still resisted, even though there was no, uh, the attack is Roosted sign, and so I was surprised that it broke my sub, because I'm a defensive mom, and it's resisted, but it wasn't resisted, so that's what happened there. And here I figure I just have to go for Drill Pack, um, because I just didn't think this was gonna, my stalling strategy was gonna work out. So my health is now pretty low, and I'm not behind a sub. So really, I, I, I botched this. The, the Hacks Gods were not in my favor particularly well. And he's gonna be able to revenge kill me with an Ice Shard, and Murkrow's gonna go down. So, oh well, the critical hit did not matter. Um, and so now he's got rocks in the field, and I'm screwed. So I got into my own Sneasel, just thinking, uh, like, I've got to win the speed tie here, and then i got to, you know, it doesn't matter. He's got Brick Break, so that's going to one hit KO both of my remaining Pokemon. So that this is GG. Um, you know, at least I got one kill, uh, and so this is in the body bag as these things go. So I got into Magnemite here. Um, it's, you know, my sturdy is broken. He goes for the knockoff, I guess, thinking that he, that my Magnemite could be running Endure. Endure is not legal on Magnemite in Gen 6, um, or in this competition, rather. So, um, yeah, he hangs on with Focus Sash, and he's gonna go for the Brick Break and kill me. Um, so, yeah, I really botched this, um, and... Well, actually, there, I don't know that there's really too much I could have done, considering I don't have fire on my team. So that's the match. It turns out his last Pokemon was Yanma, so um, I did make the right calls in team selection, at least. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks. So long.